part of our Amazon Rainforest Project. Um, you are now going to write a persuasive essay or letter, however you want to phrase that, um, to a company of your choice. So whether it be a farming um, entity, a construction company, someone that's using the rainforest um, for um, use not related to biodiversity. So they're cutting it down, they're deforesting it, or they're taking um, some of the products that the Amazon, Amazon has and using it um, for consumer goods. If you don't know um, a company or if you're unsure, what you're going to do is research one. I'm sure you can just Google one and just say like companies that use the Amazon. Um, and then you're going to try to persuade them to stop using the Amazon rainforest for their resources. Um, you should use any and all of your research that you've done through part one, two, and three. And also the claim evidence reasoning that you wrote, which was part three of this packet. And you're using all of this to prove why this does not have a positive impact on our environment. So you can be creative. And if your letters are done well, we'll even send them out to the actual companies. Um, this is our project-based learning activity for this semester. Um, you're going to use the claim evidence and reasoning rubric, which I will show you in a moment, as well as this persuasive writing flowchart as a guide for how to structure your letter or your essay. So this kind of goes through how to write a really great um, persuasive letter or an essay more in detail. And I'm just going to show you some other ways because you guys can read this on your own. Um, and then over here, the guidelines that I'm going to grade you on is the project touches based on both your animal and the plant that you chose that you were interested in from the region that you looked at. You're also going to describe the role the organism has in the ecosystem. So both the plant and the animal again. Um, so why is the plant and the animal important? What resources do they need? What resources do the plants and animal provides for, provide to other organisms? This should be in your research from part two. You should have already done this. Um, and then the third bullet point that you'll be graded on is the threats that these organisms face. So what is threatening the life of these organisms? The last one is you're going to link all your ideas in your research to what biodiversity is. So you're probably going to want to define that and why it is important in the Amazon and to these specific organisms that you chose. Um, so this is our CER rubric. That's probably going to be your ending paragraph and you already wrote your CER. So you just need to write, type it out in like a letter or a um, essay format. And now I'm gonna show you a few other um, good examples that I've had in the past. Um, I'll post these on Google Classroom, um, but here's one. So she, the only reason that this person didn't get full points is they didn't look up a specific um, company or someone that's using the rainforest. But they go on to, they give a good introduction. They talk about what deforestation is. They have a call to action that it must stop. They tell us about why and what biodiversity is. Um, and they explain what would happen if we keep um, deforesting or using the Amazon. Then she goes into her two examples. So she talks about the Brazilian tree nut and um, where else was the other one? Mm. So she actually didn't talk about her animal. So that was some points taken off, but she did talk about the Brazilian tree nut. Oh, she did, the agouti right here. I was gonna say, I wouldn't have put a bad example up here. Um, she talked about the agouti um, as a small fuzzy rodent. So he also lives in these trees and eats the Brazilian tree nut. Then at the end, she used her claim evidence reasoning to end her, um, not sentence, end her whole essay. So it's three paragraphs is all you really need. Um, here's another one that has a bit more detail. So again, their introduction up here is that you need to stop deforestation. Um, it hurts the environment and why. And there's other alternatives that they could use. Um, so they give three reasons. It's destroying homelands, um, there's soil erosion, and um, it's hurting the environment. So they have in like 80%, they have some numbers that I asked you to look up. Um, and here they talk about palm oil and that it threatens the indigenous people. And then they have their CER as their um, ending paragraph. Then this last one, they have Procter & Gamble as a company that uses the Amazon. Um, there's a call to action or an introduction with some facts and figures. 15% of greenhouse gas emissions are the result of deforestation. 
Um, they are talking about the wildlife. So 80% of the world's green flowering plants. Um, they have lots of facts and figures, which is why this one was really great. Talks about deforestation. And they talk about their bearded sake monkey that they looked up from the Amazon project and the Nat National Geographic website. And they also talked about the world, um, the green flowering plants. So all that. So I will post these on Google Classroom, but these are some really great examples that you can use. Obviously, please do not plagiarize. I have read these for three years now um, and plagiarism will get you a zero. You guys know that. But otherwise, you are just looking to make at minimum three paragraphs um, and you're just basically. Oh, where did that go? Sorry, some technical difficulties here. Just like class, huh? Um, here it is. All right, so this is all you really need to do. It gives you um, all your points. So two points for the first bullet point, um, four points for the second bullet point, two more for the third, and two for the last plus, um, a whole 10 for your CER.